Journal Record Associate Publisher Ted Struley joins us to discuss more stories making news this week. Ted, thanks for joining us. Glad to be here, Robert. Uh, Ted, uh, one of the big issues for the new medical cannabis industry in Oklahoma is banking problems. It's been a problem every other state. Explain that for us. Yeah, no exception here. The problem is, is that uh, marijuana is still a scheduled drug, and so it's illegal as far as the federal government is concerned, since banks are federally insured, uh, they can't engage in anything that breaks any federal laws. So uh, the banks don't want to touch any money that comes from uh, marijuana growing operations or dispensaries or any other part of the business. And those retailers and growers are going to have to find some other ways to manage their cash. Uh, energy company battles continue in the state's busiest drilling locations. What's the latest there? Well, this one's a little bit unusual. This is a company called Red Bluff that wants to uh, drill and uh, hydraulically fracture a well that is in close proximity to some natural gas storage that One Oak has. One Oak raised a red flag and said, hey, that is, that is too close to this. The gas is stored in essentially a hole in the ground, a former gas producing site. And they're concerned that that drilling activity could set off an explosion or cause mm. some other major problems. Red Bluff so far has said they don't think it's going to be a concern. Uh, they may end up in court over this. Oh. Now, the rail operator on the Sooner subline between Oklahoma City and Tulsa is now looking for a company to run passenger train service. What's the update? Well, they're just really in an exploratory phase. They think there's a market for some train service uh, between the Oklahoma City Metro and Tulsa Metro. It would probably uh, end up somewhere around Sepulpa up on that end, but they need to find an operator who can handle passengers. So they've just kind of put the word out to see what they get. Now, the Choctaw Nation has new digs. Why was this huge new building important to the tribal nation? This is very important to uh, the Choctaws. They built a, a large building there in Durant. Durant was the one city within their boundaries that really wanted this building, and they've consolidated all of their tribal operations, their governmental operations, all into one building. Previously, they were spread out over several counties with some of their agencies operating out of some pretty shabby portable buildings and things. So uh, they've really stepped it up, gotten everybody one, under one roof. They think that'll make it not only more professional, but a great deal more productive. Now the redevelopment of the old cotton mill site just south of the downtown Oklahoma City area is running into problems. What's happening there? Well, they've raised the old buildings from the uh, from the old mill, but the problem is that it's zoned in a very unusual way. So in order to develop that property, they have to meet both the downtown design standards as well as the riverfront design standards. And those two things can be in conflict. So uh, the riverfront people are going to look at the plans, but they have to apply the downtown design rules when they evaluate it. It's going to be very complicated to redevelop that site. It's going to take some time. Associate Publisher uh, Ted Struley from the Journal Record, thanks for joining us. My pleasure as always.